Hey guys, Brian Railfan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be working a little bit on the track work up here. That piece that's right, right pretty much where the camera's standing right now. Just to get this board almost finished track wise before I start, you know, painting the foam and everything. So first things first, you might notice what's this here? The bridge was here. Well, I'm gonna put a bridge, another bridge here. There's a bridge just off camera that you guys saw in the last video, but this piece is too long, so yeah, we're gonna have to cut it. I do have a proper foam cutter. Why I chose not to use it, I have no clue. Nor I'm not cutting it completely on this board here. I'm just making a mark so I know where to cut it. You guys can't see the mark, kind of, you kind of can see the mark. But that way, this stays up when I'm making the track, and you guys can see it. So if you ever want to mark it, just cut it with a, I think this, I don't even know what kind of saw this is. With this kind. Use that. That's what I'm using. And I'm just going to line up the two lines here. I am a more and I forgot to grab a piece of track. This is what happens when you're just kind of winging it. Where did I put it? I literally brought, I, I literally found a piece earlier. Upstairs. I'm actually trying to figure out where What's the thing? Well, how do I manage that? I legitimately had a piece earlier, and now I can't find where I put said piece. How, how do I manage these things? It's legitimately in front of me. I'm really confused now, because I, I legitimately brought it down like 15, 20 minutes ago, and it's, I cannot see it on the tracks that pile here. I hope I'm just being blind, but I'm... Well, this is what I was thinking of. This will do. I'll actually might be a little short. It will do, though. Basically, my intention is... Just getting some pieces here. There we go. Get the fish plates and everything. Get the track. So now just clean up the edges on kind of thing. Well, this this end here could use a little bit of cleaning though. Yeah, I think this is like layout build with me. So I want to say episode. I want to say six. Could be completely wrong on that. Because I honestly don't know, but. Okay. So, basically what I'm planning on doing is mainly just getting everything roughed in. That's why I'm nailing down the track, because it's foam, I can just pull it back up. Because the ballast will help hold it down anyways. And I'm trying to get the sleeper at the end off. As I said previously, I'm going to put the sleepers back on the end eventually, when I go to ballast. But until now, they're just getting more. I'm keeping all the ones I'm breaking off because I'm breaking them all quite nicely. You know, chop the actual plastic bit off the top to actually hold on to the rails and then just flip them underneath. Because I also have to do the wiring and everything, but I want to get the layout size worked out before I figure, okay, where do I need to put wires? Where do I need to drill holes for point motors, you know? This piece is being a pain. Aye, aye, aye. There we go. So that's kind of where I am at right now with the layout. I do have to, I still have to build the table. I know in the last one I said I'm probably gonna do it soon and that is true. It's just, these are film, I filmed this one right after I filmed the last, uh, update number five? What? 
<laughs> That's not what I was expecting. What's this Pico track? Oh no, this could, this piece needs to go somewhere else in life. I'm trying to keep the few bits of Pico I have together that I got from a massive love. That's not the point. See, I'm trying to get. Oh, that's steel. Why is that in the not steel pile? Get in the steel pile. So yeah, my intention basically is, is to try and get this, like, the layout done as, uh, soon as possible, just so you can have something, just need to have it done kind of thing. Now, do you want to gotta clean the ends off this piece before I can even measure it? Because they are pretty messed up. Again, I, wear, I recommend wearing eye protection even though I'm I'm not. <laughs> Don't do as I say, do as I do kind of thing. Or no, sorry, do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. <laughs> and I'm just gonna attach the fish plate so I can match it up properly. Cause I need to match it up where the bridge is gonna go. So I can now kind of line up exactly where I need it cut. And that's going to get put back here. I need to actually put it here. I now know exactly where I need to cut it. I always hold the piece of track that I'm going to end up using. And, uh, oh, but. Just ignore, you know, the flying pieces of <laughs> plastic debris. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this. The next thing is next, I will be working on the piece that is that you guys well, can't see because it's It'll basically be right in front of the camera right here. So I'm going to put you guys there in a second. I'm, and I'm also lining up all the fish plates right now, just so I know. I do have to order some more, like, because I'm almost out. I just completely forgot to. And that leaves this lined up. The reason why I'm going a bit off the cut mark is because you guys see. <laughs> Whoops! Someone just got RK hooked. Or whatever, you know. Oops! I just dropped my phone. So, as you can kind of see here, I've dug into the phone here. It's probably a bit easier. I'm trying to view this while it's trying to see. But you guys can kind of see how this is. We're doing that here. No beginning. I'm trying to figure out where the, the track piece is going to come through. Okay, right here. So now basically we're going to get this piece to not line up here. Like, that makes no sense. Well, you guys think of it. I have that huge piece of foam. Actually, no, the curve can line up. It can actually line up. Never mind, we're good. I was just thinking because uh, I got a big piece of foam going right so I have another piece of, uh, foot piece of foam going in here. I like I'm just throwing track around under the sun. <laughs> And again, I'll be wiring all of this after the tracks in. That way I can just kind of see uh, where the engines are running out of power. Uh, so I know kind of where I need to put new droppers in kind of thing. Just so I have a better idea where I need to put them. Ugh. 
I also have a diamond crossing, a 45 degree diamond crossing. I'm not sure where to put it though. So if you guys have any ideas, please uh, let me know. And uh, this piece won't be long enough. Unless, oop, I just stabbed the phone. Hmm. That's a bad idea, never mind. I'm trying to go with uh, as long pieces of track as possible, but I'm probably gonna have to change it up at some point. But again, like any piece of track you see that's missing sleepers I will, or down sleepers, I'll be replacing that, those uh, pieces. Not the track, but the sleepers, the missing sleepers, I'll, you know, put new ones in. Or the ones I've gone off of <laughs> other ones. Basically what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna cut it so it's flush end with this board. So because you guys are gonna be seeing this up probably sometime, I'd say late January, early February even, and it's January 12th right now. So progress has been very fast. Besides, you know, when I'm busy or something, which has happened uh, more than once. I'm just putting the fish plates off camera because they're kind of getting stuck on or problematic. Oh, that one completely missed. I would try to film this on camera, but I already know I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna torture myself trying. This again. <sighs> I'm gonna get a pair of pliers, hold up. Try to force that thing on. Where's my little pliers? Oh, there they are. Let's try that this time. Okay. Are you kidding me? This piece is being a pain. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that should not have been that difficult. <laughs> I just gotta make this straight as possible. Because the, the line up going up to here is not straight at all on purpose. But because this is going right off the end of a board, I kinda want it to be somewhat straight. I could have picked up every single pin doing that. Okay. Now that's lined up. So, the next thing we're gonna do is pin this little piece in. I'm not gonna pin the top piece in there as you guys can see, just because that is coming off legitimately right because I have to cut it anyways. The, I just dropped the magnet I used to test the track steel or not. Whoops. Yeah, I have a railroad crossing grass. It's an old lifelike one, I think. Maybe an old Bachman one, but I was tempted to use it on the top here just for, you know, just for fun. On the little village I'm gonna be building that's towards me right now. But then I realized, oh no, it, it looks steel and I tested it with steel, so I can't use it. The reason mainly why I'm painting these before I paint and I will be painting the entire board is so I know where the holes are. And I know where to actually put this, you know, the track back. And any holes I don't want, you know, the paint can help fill them in.
It's not lined straight now. Now we're gonna go to the other side where you guys can't see currently because you're facing the wrong way. Okay. Gotta. What was I gonna? I was gonna show you guys something. What was? Oh yeah. Hold up. Get down. This one point refuses to go down, so I've been pinning it down with extra pieces. I wonder why it's doing that, actually. <laughs> like, I never really tried to figure out why. Just like the entire track piece keep, like, the several track pieces in a row want to pop up. So we're actually going to move over. Wee! To the end and shit. So, I got to raise this up as you guys know, because it's, well, you can see the issue. I did get, uh, no, there is LED lights in here now, so it's a whole operator. <laughs> little too bright, like, you don't want to look right at them. Is LED like giving off heat? Are you kidding? Yes, it is. Okay, that's slightly concerning. But anyways, um, how am I going to raise this? Well, I could use excess pieces of foam like this and just stick it underneath kind of thing. Like this. And that actually gives me just enough. I wasn't going to do that originally, but I only really need to do it under the front. Just because it's going to be such a little increase by the time, you know, I put dirt and everything on it, you're not going to be able to tell that I did it. So I'm actually going to raise it up right now, actually, now I think while, while I'm thinking about it, you know. I need scissors. The one thing I didn't bring down is scissors. Well, <laughs> so for now, ignore this. I will make them all looking. Oh, make them all look better. But for now, while I'm, you know, forgetting to grab before, I, while I forgot to grab the scissors, I'll just pick this up and get it so it's far enough forward so both are. Hold up. So these two are high enough now, but these two are not. They're catching. So I gotta raise that side up a little bit more. Don't think I have any other thin pieces like that spare right now. Uh oh. Actually, I do. See, they're gonna have to. Pick this up more than I thought. So, you guys, if I if I close it, you can see just how high up off the. It doesn't look high off the ground, but for you know, for the fact it's supposed to be flush, it, it is high off the ground. But I'll get the I'll get pieces cut to size and everything later for it. But just so you guys have an idea of what I'm doing, that's kind of the idea. What's next? Well. This board's almost done, and I gotta finish building the board to my the two boards to my right. And all that stuff I explained last episode, and probably many before this. So I'm not gonna. What the? No, that's. He has glue on the top. I didn't see before. That's really weird. Anyways, <laughs> um, I guess we'll quickly get poor little five MT off the. Bridge there, he's been stuck there now for about 20 minutes. We're just gonna test the new piece of track there. Wrong way. So it works. Now we'll bring it back around, we'll see if everything else works. Come on, little guy. The track's probably dirty. Oh no, oh no, he's off. I think. Come on, little guy. There we go. I will be putting like edges on anywhere the edges could fall off, so don't worry. They're not at risk falling off against the wall there because I'm gonna push the board back. So don't worry, the engines are not at risk. Yet. 
I'm gonna say yeah, because I don't, you never know for the future. Now let's try the inside. If anyone who watched the last episode will know how, or the last update one will know how much I struggled to get this guy to run on the inside track past the shed. Um. Scratch that past the first point. Why is this randomly losing power? I do not see why it's randomly losing power. That. Well, that's weird. He is refusing to cooperate. So, I'll pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just want to hook up my DCC system to see maybe if uh, an engine that hasn't run in, well, run a, a lap in literally uh, years, and after a massive reconstruction, Channel icon that most are probably not even that most will probably won't even know it's gonna make a return. Uh, assuming I don't have enough epic fail to happen, anyways. I'm not gonna say who it is. That's why you guys are facing the other way. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Go little guy! Go little guy! Uh oh. Not again. <laughs> okay, something is acting up on this middle line here. Oh yay! Yeah. How are you even running? This line doesn't have point have power to it yet. Now you can go. Oh, come on, guy. Yeah. Seriously, I want to take you to the club tomorrow, but you can't even prove yourself here. Cool little guy. That's right. Sixty-five, sixty-seven, eighty-nine is back. I missed the turntable, but or I missed the bridge, but but we're back. Unfortunately, it is just a DC. You can literally see the the coder and the tender. We're actually gonna have him back in the shed. We're gonna run him up one more time just to get you know get him some run time. He hasn't run in a while. This is just a rail. This there's something about this curve that does not like my my feel dress for some reason. I think that I think that back piece there is dirty because it struggles up. It doesn't struggle until there. And now we're stuck, I think. The track of power. Yeah, that track's probably just dirty, and it's probably getting to the far reaches of the power. Ah, uh, the tender came to rail, by the way, it's fine. I, I didn't tell you to stop, though. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the- I will flip you guys around in just a second. Just wanna get six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, I'm putting it backwards. Yeah. Now you know what you guys can see it, why not? Oh <clears throat> the guy just fell over. I haven't ran him in a long time because he's been under uh undergoing massive overall. Basically, the the motor 
is uh, from another 462. Same brand and everything. The chassis is from that one as well. But the lead and trailing trucks are from... And the uh, drive wheels are from this one. Yeah, I basically switched everything over just so I could change the chassis and the motor, but I kept the wheels and everything. Uh, just because it was easier. So, I'm going to flip guys around again. Oh, you guys just popped out of the holder again. We're going to show them backing into the shed. Because why not? Get my favorite little engine backing into the shed. Out of the way, safely. Into... They're right full. I'm gonna go, go the farthest spot, just I'm gonna hold the point though. I don't trust the point, frankly. It's not, it's just not, oh. I just bashed the shed. How'd I do that? Oh, the cab bashed the shed. There you go. And you guys died for another time. So, this is the brand new fan. That was a layout build slash running trains day. <laughs> it's, like, it's like dropping the camera more than once. Day. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. And hopefully I don't drop my camera in that one. See you later, everybody.